View options and assemblies are useful to aid in the process of assembling parts and analyzing movement. To hide or show a part, navigate to the instance list and select the eye icon or right click on the desired part in the assembly and select hide or show. You can use the keyboard shortcut Y to hide the part the mouse is hovering over in the instance list or graphics area. To show the part, hover over the part in the instance list and use the keyboard shortcut Shift Y. To hide all instances in the assembly except the selection, select the instances you want to show, right click and select hide other instances. Icons for mates, mate connectors, and groups can be shown in the graphics area by selecting the eye icon next to the entity in the mate features list. Pressing the letter J on the keyboard hides or shows all mates, and K hides or shows all mate connectors. Right-clicking on a part allows you to show or hide the mates belonging to the part. This can be helpful when trying to diagnose an issue with an assembly or needing to edit a specific mate. Show all displays all instances, mates, and mate connectors in an assembly. To show all, right-click on the white space and select show all. Show all parts only shows instances. To change the display style of an assembly, select the option from the view cube. Note, this changes all parts in the assembly. You cannot affect the display style of a specific part in the assembly with this option. Define part appearances from the Part Studio display in the assembly. If a change is made to the part appearance, this is reflected in the assembly. If you want to render a component at a higher resolution for nicer images, you can adjust the tessellation quality of specific instances. Right-click on the instance and select Use Best Available Tessellation. An orange indicator displays on the icon. To go back to automatic render mode, right-click on the instance and select Use Automatic Tessellation Setting. Isolate shows all selected parts and mutes unselected parts by making them transparent and allowing you to click through them. This can make it easy to work with a large assembly that has several components inside each other by isolating the portion you are currently working on, but still allowing you to view the larger design. You can adjust the parts affected by the isolation by distance or connectivity. The Distance option adjusts the parts that are isolated by physical proximity of the selection. Sliding the slider to the right makes parts closest to the selection isolated instead of muted. The Connectivity option adjusts the parts affected in the isolation by mate connectivity. Sliding the slider to the right makes parts mated to the selection isolated instead of muted. You cannot select muted parts, but you can click through a part that is muted to select an entity behind it or inside it. Note, mate connectors and mates belong to muted parts are also unavailable for selection. Adjusting the view of an assembly or of instances in an assembly makes it easier to achieve mating and making selections, understanding the fit and function of parts, and viewing assembly motion.